Welcome back to my channel. This is my video for the 12 signs. This one is specifically for ascendants in Pisces and how the full moon in Capricorn is going to be affecting you guys this week that is happening on June 24th, 2021. So Pisces ascendant specifically also sun moon in Pisces to a lesser extent. I'm looking at Saturn. I'm looking at the placement of Saturn and where Saturn has been and, um, is in you guys's chart and i'm also looking at the position of the full moon because it's a full moon in capricorn saturn rules capricorn and so we really need to look at the placement of saturn to understand how this full moon is playing out so for you guys you have had saturn ongoing in your 12th house this means that there has been um, a lot of restrictions in terms of your spiritual connection and i imagine for ascendant in pisces this is very frustrating because Ascendant and Pisces, you guys are just a very naturally spiritual connected sign. I mean, Pisces rules the connection to source and all that is and the spiritual connection and is ruled by Neptune, which also has to do with those things. And with Saturn in your 12th house, this is really um, kind of limiting and like holding back and draw withdrawing your ability to connect in like the dream world and the unconscious realms and also um connecting to like your intuition and your spirit and the spirit world and god and stuff like that you may be feeling just like some type of stifled or restricted or held back in some type of way in regards to the more spiritual areas and components of your life and this is causing some type of general frustration because you really want to move forward into a more authentic way of reality in another area of life but you can't because of this situation that's going on, it's just generally causing some frustrations. And so with Saturn in the 12th house, um, you're really being asked to reevaluate your connection to your spirituality, reevaluate how you go about doing that connection and what your spiritual practices are because Saturn is trying to make something that is going to last the long term and is going to be enduring and is going to be very stable and very structured and very able to carry you forward into the future with success. And in the 12th house, Saturn really wants you to build a better foundation in terms of your spiritual connection, in terms of how you pray, in terms of how you connect with a God source energy. And that is the process that you guys are really undergoing right now with Saturn transiting your 12th house. Now, this uh, um, this full moon in Capricorn is going to be happening in your 11th house. The 11th house is the house of, it's ruled by Aquarius. It's the house of groups and organizations and networks and the, the, the overall good, the greater good, the bigger whole. It also rules like hopes and wishes and dreams and things of that nature, stuff like that. So really right now, there's going to be some type of light being shown for you or there's going to be some type of emphasis being placed on your networks, your friend groups, the groups that you associate yourself with um, organizations and also like your hopes and your goals and wishes and dreams for the future as a whole somehow coming into prominence right now having a light shown on them so it really giving you kind of like checking the gauge really on where like how these aspects of your life are going and how they're relating back to these obstructions and these limitations and the feeling held back and the frustrations in some type of way in regards to that spiritual connection, how you're sleeping to the 12th house rules, um, rules sleep and, um, your spiritual practices generally, or it, you know, the 12th house also has to do with like evading reality and like escapism and, um, trying to like not face what's actually going on and stuff like that. So there really could be some things that have been restricting you also from really wanting to face reality and what's really going on under these energetics as they play out. And with this light being shown, this prominence on the 11th house this month, it is showing you in terms of your social networks, the organizations that you're involved in, and also your goals, wishes, and dreams, where those are, where you're at in the process of fulfilling those, and what your status is in terms of your role in these overall groups, organizations, and stuff like that. How that is being, like, what what is the status of that? Where are you at in that? And how is that being impacted by these limitations or these desires to not participate into reality, like escape or, you know, limitations or you know reevaluating your connection to spirit and 
the more unconscious realms of reality and life and the world, you know, possibly discovering, you know, new ways of perceiving spiritual connection or coming into contact with things that you never really perceived could be like real and you're finding out that they are and like it sparking some type of cognitive dissonance too with Pisces ascendance like this could be something else that you're dealing with like having to face a reality that you're really not comfortable facing um, and dealing with everything that comes along with that also and it impacting your social groups social dynamics the, your goals for the future how you fit into your friend groups and your organizations all of those type of things highlighted right now and kind of just coming to the prominence for you guys this week with your um, 12th house being transited by Saturn and this full moon in your 11th. So that is what I have to say for you guys for Pisces. If you are interested in getting the full context of this full moon that's happening in Capricorn, check out my video for June 24th, 2021, where I talk all about the energetics for the full moon in Capricorn and how they are transpiring collectively that day. And if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Um, leave me comments and come back tomorrow for my astrological outlook of the day. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye Pisces.